फ्रेंड्स टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट द क्वेश्चन विच आर आस्ड इन द इंटरव्यू फॉर इलेक्ट्रिशियंस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हेयर इज फॉर ट्रांसफार्मर एज यू नो दैट ट्रांसफार्मर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम दिस इज वाई मोस्टली क्वेश्चन आर आस्ड फ्रॉम द ट्रांसफार्मर सो इन द इंटरव्यू फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज आस्ड हेयर इज फॉर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ट्रांसफार्मर विच सर्किट ब्रेकर इज यूज बिफोर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द आंसर आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन यू समथिंग अबाउट दिस एज यू नो दैट ट्रांसफार्मर विच आर जनरली यूज either they step down the voltage or they step up the voltage now here it is said distribution transformer now you know that distribution transformers are used to provide the power supply which comes to our home it means all the distribution transformers are step down transformers that is it converts high voltage into low voltage now on the primary side of transformer voltage is high and on secondary side voltage is low Now power supply which is given to transformer can be of 6.6 kV or can be of 11 kV if up to 11 kV power supply is given to the transformer then in this condition we use vcb full form of vcb is vacuum circuit breaker apart from this in some of the companies 33 kV incoming power supply is used if incoming power supply of company is 33 kV then in this condition we use sf6 circuit breaker Now on secondary side of transformer voltage is low so we use acb circuit breaker with this side so you understood the concept now how to give answer let's see this also you have to give answer like this for ht side of distribution transformer vcb or sf6 circuit breaker is used besides for lt side of transformer through which we distribute power supply for this side we use acb breaker Now second question here is it is asked name the 10 equipments which are used in a electrical substation so as you can see in this picture in this substation a transformer is used so first of all you have to give answer here that in the electrical substation transformer is used besides a circuit breaker is used as i told you to provide incoming power supply to transformer we use vcb and for outgoing power supply we use acb so all these are known as circuit breaker So second is circuit breaker besides lightning arrestor is also used work of lightning arrestor is when there is lightning in thunder storms then suddenly voltage increases due to this lightning which falls to ground this voltage we use lightning arrestor after this ab switch or isolator is also used isolator here means incoming power supply which is there to cut this incoming power supply we use isolator besides insulator is also used as you can see here insulators are used After this in electrical substation bus bar is there capacitor banks are there earthing pits are there and ct pt is also there through ct or pt voltage and current is measured in incoming power supply along with this how much power supply is consuming for calculation of this also ct pt is used and besides all of these electrical panels are there in electrical substation now let's move on to the next question in the next question it is asked for a dg set how many earthing pits are required in this question dg set which is written here it means diesel generator set when electrical power supply is gone then in this condition through generator only we distribute power supply in any plant so question is asked about this generator only that for a generator how many earthing pits are required so to give answer for this question you will say for a dg set four earthing pits are required two earthing pit for neutral and two earthing pits for body earthing look generator we use in this if we get neutral power supply in output then we need to connect this neutral with neutral earthing pit so this is a earthing pit in this way you have to make total four earthing pits for a single dg only friends this question can be asked in different manner also it can be asked for a distribution transformer how many earthing pits are required see answer of this question is also same that is distribution transformer which is there for this transformer also four earthing pits are required two earthing pit for neutral and two earthing pit for body earthing okay now let's move on to next question in fourth question it is asked what is primary protection and backup protection to give answer of this question you will say when any kind of fault occurs then protection device which first of all protects power system elements then this protection device is known as primary protection device Now due to some reason if primary protection device is not working then in this condition we use a backup protection it means backup protection comes in handy only when the primary protection fails that is if primary protection is unable to break the circuit breaker then in this condition backup protection will break the circuit 
to understand this clearly you can understand in this way that motor we use starter which is connected with motor in this starter you will see for protection of motor a overload relay is used after this in this starter you will see a fuse also this fuse is a backup protection that is if by chance overload relay does not work then in this condition fuse will provide the protection friends here we are talking about overload relay so let's see a question related to overload relay friends this question was asked to me in my interview in this question it is asked in overload relay how many types of setting we can do look in normal overload relay only one type of setting option is there so you have to give answer here that sir in overload relay mostly one type of setting is done and that also of over current but in special type of overload relay there is an option to set tripping time also now here you will say that where is the option to set time in overload relay then friends for this i already made a video in this video you saw digital contactor which is there in this contactor overload relay was inbuilt in this you saw two knobs were given through which we can set over current and time now you will say that this was digital contactor this is why two options are there but it is not like that in normal overload relay also you will get two options so you have to give answer here that in normal overload relay you will get only one option which is to set over current but in special type of overload relay we can set tripping time also friends if you want to learn what is a digital contactor then click on the right hand side video to watch